Hi guys, Plum Friends here. Right, I hope everybody's doing well. Today, I'm going to show you my belt system and my strap. More time, it's attached to my work clock. I will be disconnecting it in front of you. There's eight disconnection clips to hold the belt and the straps to the body of the work sack. If you look in my older videos, I have a similar setup what I have now, but the difference is these are set up with clips and not the zips what I was using in the past. I find the clips are harder, stronger and better because the zips loose to just undo or pull apart. The clips are stronger, they basically hold everything on. I have filled up my workshop with every single piece of kit I've got, but this one is empty now. There's only a pedal inside of it, just to show you the aspect of the straps. So I'm going to disconnect all these clips now because it's, it's over one minute, so you all can see what I mean. Right, there is one there. Do apologise that I'm in front of the camera. Two. Ugh. There's four at the top here. One, two, three, four. And then the books up forward. One. And there's two on the back. One. Two. That means the body of the book sack is off as you can see here are my straps yeah that's my straps and my belt right i'm going to go quickly through what i've got in each pouch but bear with me because i'm not finished on this setup yet i'm just getting it the way i like it but it will more likely have some changes so yeah, right. We'll go from left to right. My left, no. Right to left. Sorry. I have every single time my Silver Ranger compass. It's a world compass, and it's set for forty-four degrees north for the UK. We're forty-four degrees out of north in the UK. There's more time in this pouch beside it. I don't know why I've still got it in there, but it's camouflage cream. It's not essential. I've just put it in there just for this more time to bulk out that pouch a bit, just to just to shape it up a bit. And there's a little zip behind it. And by the way, that's a nice little glow tab. Fantastic piece of kit. Right, I'll do that quickly before. Yeah. Behind this one. There's a little zip and in there I keep a thumb compass and a little signal mirror and a mini bit. That's all I keep behind my compass pouch, my compass and there's more time the camouflage screen. In here I keep my red, green, and blue lens torch. I'm not turning it on because I don't believe in that. You've all seen torches before. It extends, it, it extends, and it goes out, but then it goes in for a bigger beam. When you want a shorter beam, it goes out. So, yeah, that's attached again on another lanyard so I don't lose it. All these clips are lockable clips. I've even put a lockable clip on my Condor Ripaway first aid pouch. You want to know what's in there? I'll leave a link to that one for you guys. You might see all this power cord here. There's 150 feet on my belt. I will explain to that quickly. I'm a lone wolf, and in my opinion, I don't have the time to make cord make cordage. But then when over time I will make cordage, but this more time in a stressful situation, I have it there. And this one on top is fire cord. This more time in this one, all it is is just 
mini bit and bit with my light with my lighter bulb. It's all what's in that pouch in a minute. Oh no, sorry, and two vials. And these two vials are going to be filled up with, I think, it's ninety or something. But it's basically alcohol. It's basically medical alcohol. So that's what's going in these two. So yeah, as you can see, the big body of the rucksack, um, of the rucksack of the strap, the belt, is this pouch here. This pouch is my bladder pouch, as you can see by that one up there. I keep other stuff in this one, like in here. I ain't got much in here at the moment. I keep my syringe for my Sawyer Mini. And I keep a couple of things for my fishing tackle, like the um, hook remover and the bait thing, as well as the bait drill. I am trying to do this as fast as I can, by the way. There's the clips I was talking about. And this one here is my K bar and my taco. I will I have got upgraded that so I'll show you that later. In this one it's my bathroom kit. You've all seen that. I've already shown that in a video. I'll leave that in the corner if you like if you hold, I'll remember. This one here is empty because I'm trying. I'm trying to work out if I want to put my ammo flask in that pouch. So yeah. Same again. I got number one of these pouch. It is empty. So I'm thinking about what to add into it. This here is my bottle pouch, as you can see. I've got a metal mug underneath, and I got my water purification kit there. I'm not going through it. You've all seen that before. Here. That's the other points on traction onto the workshop. Here is my admin pouch. I'm going to do a separate video on this because there is quite a bit in here. And I don't want to make this video more than 20 minutes. This video will be 20 odd minutes long. Else. So, yeah. Here I've got another little pouch. And in this one, I've got my monocular. So I can see from distance. See what I'm out there and see what's coming towards me. And same again. It's a lockable clip, and I have another one of these glow. I don't know what they call them, but they they glow in the, when the sun hits them more light. All right, spin it around to the front. <clears throat> I have my pacer beads with another compass attached to it, just in case I want to grab out the other two compasses. There is my <clears throat> bladder straw. It does fit perfectly well where that where that metal one is, and I like the metal one because I can undo it, have a drink, and then it flings back and it goes in exactly the same spot. As I said, there is my ranger beads, piece of beads, my whistle, and again on another lanyard. I call this my foraging pouch. Most people would call this a dump pouch. So I have that one there. I have my quick deploy. I don't know if you want to call it a trauma kit or what. So that's a quick deploy one. I have my strapped torch here. That is really bright and really good to have. I really do like it. I do have a radio pouch drop goes here, but this point in time I put it somewhere and I just cannot remember where I put it. So, like an idiot, don't do that. Always know where your stuff is. So, yeah, that's every single thing, guys, what I have on my strap. As I said, I'm going to go through my admin pouch with you in a separate video because this video is coming up to 10 minutes long as it is. I do apologise if I'm going too fast by speaking. So, yeah. I do apologise about the dogs barking downstairs. And, yeah, I'm hoping you like this video. I'm hoping this understands what I've put, been putting together for the last, I would say, six months. we putting this kit together. Alright, don't get me wrong. That's been the same for a long time. 
that, as you know, I've done a, I've done bits on. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please put the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please put the thumbs down. But please tell me why. And we'll catch you in the next one, guys. And the next one will be on my admin pal. Thank you. Bye bye.